If it goes above 40 degrees, then we're entering a risk zone. Some people will be fine, some people won't, but this is where problems start to happen. So the organs of the body can start to fail, or at least start to work less optimally. The reasons for this can be what's called protein denaturation. So uh, proteins sort of start to, their, 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 their shape changes and some of them will start to pull apart. Okay, you get the very early signs of cooking, effectively. Internal systems in terms of heart rate increases. And there are, there are subtle changes to the way that the heart beats each cycle as well. Ventilation rates, so how fast we breathe, that increases as well. You get flushing of blood to the periphery of the body, so more of our blood is being sent to the surface of our skin. That's why some people can look red when it's hot. Now that blood going to the surface of the skin uh, loses heat through the skin to the external environment, unless it gets super hot. Nerve impulses won't work so well, so the body's not able to communicate internally as effectively. And biochemical reactions in the body will speed up because chemical reactions often operate more quickly at higher temperatures. So there's a range of reasons why, from about 40 degrees C onwards, and it's only subtle at 40 degrees, but it, as body temperature continues to increase, those problems get worse and worse until you can end up with organ failure, and if you get heart failure, that will result in hypoxia, so low oxygen in the body, less oxygen getting to the, the brain.